Oh, it's the boy Elvarg. Let's go, baby. All right, protect from mage is apparently recommended. There's a nine to start off. Let's see what we got, boys and girls. Hopefully, it's not too bad. I'm not even sure if... Okay, oh, this is going to be easy. Oh, my God. This isn't going to be bad at all. I'll be right back. <laughs> I had no idea Elvarg drains your prayer. Wow, I used four food. I... I was overthinking it, but that's good. It's a good thing that I'm over-preparing and overthinking these fights because it's most likely going to keep me safer. There we go. There is Elvarg's head. Let's zoom in for the thumbnail. Oh. <laughs> it's actually going to be a sick thumbnail. Nice. All right, so we finished the part of slaying the dragon. All we need to do is go back to Oziak, and then we can buy a room plate body, which we can't afford, so we need to make more money first. But there we go. Elvarg said, nice. Good way to start the episode. I think you get strength and defense XP from this. I'm not sure how much, but it might get me like two or three levels in both skills, which is going to be very useful. Get me closer to 60 combat, which doesn't really mean anything. Ideally, I should be 60 attack so I can wield dragon uh, equipment as soon as possible, since I'd like to be doing Monkey Madness. And then when I want to do Monkey Madness. I want to buy a dragon scimitar or scimitar, however you want to say it. But, yeah, we're still quite a ways away from that. By the way, sorry for having, like, if my P's and Q's and stuff sound, like, my hard letters sound a little bit annoying. I don't have my pop filter here at home. I forgot that back in my apartment. But as soon as I get back there, it'll sound a bit more normal. So apologies for the audio. Actually, no, screw you guys. Yes, there it is. Dragon Slayer complete. Two quest points. We've now finished every single free-to-play quest, which isn't that much of an accomplishment. It's really hard to die during any of these, except for maybe Dragon Slayer. But, uh, yep, nice strength and defense XP. We can now get the room plate body. We can now wear it, I think. I'm not even sure if you can buy it. You can probably get it as a drop, but you might not be able to buy it. Or, sorry, wear it. But, yeah, now we can wear it. So, there we go. What do we get? 44 defense and 45 strength. Puts us at 56 combat. Can I buy a room plate body? Well, we can't exactly afford it. Oh, well, they're only 26. I didn't even know he sold them here. Would be more convenient than going to the guy in Lumbridge and getting it. But, there we go. 84? Oh my god, it'd probably be worse just getting it as a drop from a... Oh man, just kidding. Alright, we might need to uh, make a bit more money, or we might just need to get a torso. I'm not even sure if it's worth getting a torso instead of uh, the room plate body, but it'll be worth having at some point. Alright, 940 total, and now we need to do another big one. Underground pass. Where are you? Good luck. Just as a reminder, this is the path that I need to take for Regicide. To this way, up. To this way. And I think... This way, then this way, and we're good. Nice. Don't forget that's the fun. Where else? There it is. Underground pass completed. Not even close to dying. I think the entire time I failed maybe three or four times on the obstacles, so it really wasn't too bad. But the rewards are just so trash for this quest. The five quest points, though, is really nice. Puts us at 138, close to 140. But no levels off it, but we have the quest completed. Next big one is Monkey Madness and Desert Treasure. Finish Tower of Life. Two quest points puts us at 140 total quest points, getting really close. I just am doing quests that I see on my quest list that I know I can finish pretty quickly. It's starting to look nice and green. I'm liking it. 1,000 construction gets us to 22. 500 crafting, 500 thieving. I don't think we get any levels off that. No, we don't. But two construction levels, not bad. This place down here is pretty cool, actually. It's got a really nice history, and there's some really unique things you can do. But I most likely won't ever be coming down here. Unless something new comes out, or there's something I'm missing. But nice, close complete. Always end up getting like 74, 75 here. 73 if I don't misclick. It's like, I don't even know if you can get it faster. I think eight, over 80% is like impossible, but let's see what we get. We're pretty high level now. 102 coal. Over 1,000 feathers. I'm, I can't complain about that. Coal's always useful, especially since I need to start superheating soon. Nice. That was the worst nice I've done so far. And we forgot to record us killing the jungle demon, but let's go see the reward, which is even better. So, funny story for you guys, but not so much for me. I had my monkey Grigri equipped, but when I teleported away from Apatol, I had a full inventory. So the game didn't know what to do, and it just dropped my Grigri to the ground. So I didn't have any time to go pick it up again. I mean, I didn't need it for the rest of the quest, but for Recipe for Disaster, it means I have to go back and get an extra monkey talisman from that little kid so that's annoying but yeah be careful of that if you're gonna do monkey madness make sure if you take your guri off when you're teleporting away you have one extra inventory space which is pretty you know easy stuff but for me not so much there it is we completed the big three that we said we complete last episode dragon slayer underground pass and monkey madness we get three diamonds one's on the floor i think which we might need for a quest in the future not sure 10k which is a lifesaver at the moment and uh, yeah, since we're officially a 10th member, we can go get those lovely combat rewards from, I think, Dyro, who teaches us how to do stuff. 
All right, Dairo. Com that is voice cracked while talking to Dairo. God, I'm so embarrassed. All right, let's see. Mission complete. Let's get the rewards. Come on, come on, come on. Which one am I going to choose? I think you have an option, right? Strength and stamina, attack and defense. I'm not even sure. I might just do attack and defense, I think. How much do you get? 46, 44. Come on. I think it's in the 10Ks. I'm not sure actually how much you get. <laughs> oh, I got to click out. Sorry. Come on. And we get... What? That was a lot more than I thought it was. I thought it was like 15k in each, but I saw 110k XP drop. That was amazing. We can now wear 60... Wait, so, what? Oh, we're combat level 60. I kept seeing 60. I thought we... <laughs> Jeez. All right, so 40, 50 attack. So we need 10 more levels for dragon equipment. 49 defense. 10 more levels for dragon equipment as well, which I don't think we're going to be getting much dragon equipment in the near future unless we get lucky with like a dragon med from Barrows or something. But we are close to getting the Helm Nezi, so that's good. Uh, attack or strength we can easily train up and get that up as well. But yeah, nice. 60 combat now. Monkey Madness is complete. I need a bit more money and I also want a bit more jewelry that I can enchant. For example, I'd like to get a ruby amulet so I can enchant that to a strength amulet, amulet of strength that I can use for Slayer when I'm training up my melee stats. And I think the best way to do that, which everybody else has been doing, is just doing ham store keys or ham guard keys or whatever. I've actually never done this before, but I've always seen people do this. I have no idea how to do it, but we'll see. Small. I think you just open these with the keys. I've never done it before. I should probably look up a guy just picked the lock. Can I just go under this maybe? I don't even know. So I pick it and then open that. Do we just open it then? Oh, okay. You don't have the right key for that chest. So you have to keep going to different places every time. God, lame. Should have done this earlier. I just got three different sapphire pieces from one key. That's pretty nuts. That's a games necklace, amulet of magic, and then a ring of recoil. Or I can just sell them and make money off it, which I most likely will do. I'll probably sell the amulet of magic, but then keep the recoil and the games necklace. I get it. I was wondering why only one key was fitting per room, but then I realized this must be like the room for steel keys, which I got the most of, and... Everything just popped in my inventory. No ruby yet, though. But this is amazing. I didn't know it gave this much. I should have done this earlier. Here we have the loot from those keys from one level of thieving. This is from 50 to 51. We got the ruby amulet. We only got two. I thought it would be more, but at least we got one. <laughs> and we also got a diamond amulet, which is awesome. So when we can actually enchant those, we'll have uh, some two nice amulets there. Even though I'll most likely be using a glory by then. I'm not really sure. I don't, don't really know. But here we have the total loot. It's going to add up to 224k. But again, this isn't really the price I'm going to be getting. I'm going to be enchanting a bunch of these into, especially these sapphire necklaces for games necklaces, emerald rings for the dueling rings, and the rest of them I'm probably going to sell to the shop and see how much money I can get. So I'll be back when I've sold everything. Just realized that with a plus three boost from the wizard mind bomb, I can get 57 magic, which means I can use the amulet of power now, which is probably the best amulet I can use at the moment behind maybe the amulet of glory but i can't exactly use that right now since i don't have a dragon stone but amulet power is sick it definitely beats the accuracy amulet that i was using for everything else so nice things going well here we have all the final jewelry we're going to sell you just sell it at this grums gold exchange in port serum it's probably going to make me about 100k from this inventory i'd say all right guys so there we have 55 magic that is one of the biggest levels we're going to reach on this account that means we can start high alking stuff was really annoying getting this. I spent so much money on Chaos Runes, but definitely worth it. We're going to be making a bit a bit more money back now from everything we can high elk in our bank. And now we just need to finish the Slayer task. Here we go, guys. 18 Slayer, which means we have the Slayer level for Animal Magnetism. Can get that quest done finally. So we have the Accumulator, which is going to be very nice for range training. So we don't constantly lose all these bone bolts we bought. All right, this one's probably the most useful quest to complete for range. Ava's Accumulator or Attractor. I don't forget which one you get at the very beginning. But Animal Magnetism should be done now. Here we go. 1,000 in crafting, slayer, fletching, and woodcutting, and a quest point, and then Ava's attractor. There it is, which is going to be nice for training range. Don't have to constantly pick up my bolts. But there we go, another A quest done. I'm sort of just going down the line at this point and trying to get as many done as possible, just seeing what I, I can finish. There's still a bunch I can do, but I'm like, ugh. Shades of Morton. Hopefully, there's people who do that mini game. 20 slayer, though, which is nice. Can we do anything at it? Oh my god, Rock Slab is. Uh, wow. 